What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to the Dungeon of Black Company. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you like to support the channel, we got Patreon and channel membership. Link to those are below. We are reacting to the Dungeon of the Black Company episode one. I actually read a little bit of the manga like a long, long time ago, and I actually forgot about it. But I know it was interesting. This is a very different isekai story. This guy, he gets transported to another world, and he is not a good person. He's not. <laughs> <laughs> so in his original world he was lazy he was able to make money without doing anything and when he gets summoned to this world he gets put into a demon like company and is worked hard like a slave so it's something opposite and he tries to figure out how to not work again, but still make money. <laughs> but in this other world, so he has to like learn the resources, how the system works, how do you get income, and so on and so forth. So this is going to be really interesting to watch. I don't really remember how everything happened in the manga. And I didn't really go that far anyway, so this is perfect for me. But I know this story is going to be very interesting. It's going to be funny. And it's, it's different. Okay, so we're in our world. Mm -hmm. Look at that building. I bet he's at the top of the floor. He's taking a shower. Uh, yeah, we're getting some shower action. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why do they always do that for rich people? <laughs> He's talking about wage workers heading to the office in the rain with flimsy umbrellas. Like, he's making fun of people who actually work. He's looking down on them. And he's laughing at their misery. The ultimate neat. The uber pro neat. <laughs> They don't allow to support into swing training to build a business and such invested stable income stream with no work involved. I wish I could have a life like his. Like, this is ideal. Anybody would want this. The Alpha and the Omega. I shall live here <laughs> slothfully. <laughs> and he finally got to where he wanted to, but he gets taken away from his ideal life. This is like karma. Karma for wanting something that <laughs> he doesn't deserve. Nah, I think he deserves that life. I mean, he did work hard for that. He did put the work in. It's not like he cheated and cut corners. And look, he's so sad. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's like, I got taken away from my neat life, my uber pro neat life. <laughs> he has no shame in it, too. He you gotta give props to people who are upfront about that stuff. Oh my gosh, giving that corporation speech about fulfillment. What a bunch of self serving nonsense! <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
It's do or die. So he went to a world inhabited by demi humans. Modernization took over that changes dramatically. Demon Knight, the ore found in dungeons, started being used as an energy source. Governments and companies began managing the dungeons. Kenji ended up as a labor worker <laughs> in the mine. Your last month's results? I don't think he wants to. I don't think he cares. You ain't work until you miss up your health. <laughs> That's horrible. Fixing our work days. Holy snap! Yeah. He's being worked like a slave. Gosh. Ew, only bathe once a month? Ah. Why did you do that thing you just did now? What did he do though? Oh, he's just being bullied! Where did the loan come from? I forgot what the loan was for. That's crazy. What I mean crazy is that he's being forced to actually pay off that loan. I wonder how long that loan is going to take. I want to mean force. I mean like force in that amount. Nothing smaller, but that whole amount. Uh, Kenji, I thought you didn't have money for food. What are you doing going out to a bar? Yeah, where'd you get the money for that? Ten million goat. Twenty million. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, okay. He he deserved that. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, that was karma. No money, no specialties. This could be your golden opportunity. Can we go on a prospecting tour? What's a prospecting tour? Is 
that like you're going to like explore unknown areas? Goes deep into the dungeon to find Demonite. Goes deeper down floor after floor almost endlessly. The more dangerous it gets, the deeper you go. Oh, they're only on the first floor? Jeez! Several people from the Exploration Division die every year. Oh snap! Oh snap! Hidden portal! Ooh, spent a lot of money on this equipment! <laughs> Jeez. He is making an investment because he believes in this third floor. Uh -huh. What's that for? Holy water to ward off evil, to ward off monsters. Oh, that's cool. Very modernized. Wow. I guess you could say this is what happens when a fantasy world starts developing, like get modernized. Because every civilization, you know, goes through the phases and becomes modernized. Spread stagnation everywhere. That's because I'm a winner! Winners just don't work for the sake of working. <laughs> Uh, uh, I wouldn't bring that to the leader. I would just sell that myself. Ooh, look at that. The holy water didn't ward off all the monsters. Oh, this one looks very evil looking. Tasty meals found. Oh no! Nope, you're not gonna die here. You can't. It's only the first episode. <laughs> what I do you have? What you got? What you got? What? You're telling him to be beat? Oh. That's super shady! Oh, you. You such a jerk! Oh my gosh! No! You wrung him into this plan and you did him dirty! I feel bad for this guy. Did you feel guilty? Huh? Huh? You came back? <laughs> He's me look 
down on. Oh, this monster has a name. Extraordinarily <laughs> superb human. All he picked up that rim was looking for tasty food. Oh, oh, that that reaction was so ambiguous. What? Bright light. What? You didn't do it, cute little girl! That's right. Okay, I know this doesn't become like a harem kind of thing. I know it doesn't, but still. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say that her obsession with tasty food balances out with her being a cute girl. Oh, he wants to make money using this monster. But he's losing money because he's feeding her. The ultimate good for nothing. <laughs> well, you can say that Rim can act as a protector, right? That's a lot of magic items. Toilet error for Rim and the others? <laughs> they pooped out all these magic items! How insensitive are you? See, okay, so this is the balance of the cute girl thing. She's just hungry. Obsessed with food. You can't really view her romantically. <gasps> oh, he cut off his tail. That's still, oh, that's so morbid. Idling, please input your next comment. <laughs> Oh, he's going to make use of that magic item. Ah! <laughs> he's controlling people to work. Oh, he's being horrible. He's desperate. Temporary mesmerizes and brain rushes the target. Oh, what an evil look. He is becoming like a really bad guy. <laughs> Shalala. <laughs> Yeah, you can't trick and brainwash them like that. No, 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 don't, don't justify what you're doing. 
and getting a tiny commission. I feel some kind of way with that. Oh dear. But they don't know they're being brainwashed. So by the time they get home, they're like so tired. They don't know why they're tired. This is going to bite him back. I, I, I know it. I don't remember it, but I know it. This is going to bite him in the butt. Can't be bothered. Ew. That feels gross. See, see, he's even asking why is he so tired lately. Oh no. Report, remind, review. No, he's becoming like the ones he hates. No, what a hypocrite. Yeah, this is not your typical protagonist. Aya! Why is that guy acting so selfishly? He should have rotated. Rotated people so he wouldn't work them so hard. What kind of potions? That's so bad! Then that was water? Come on, be the voice of reason! Be the human resources! Apologize! They don't, you don't have to apologize, just make them not remember. <gasps> it looks like the stuff isn't working. Oh wait, Rim increases the power of the staff. Wait, 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 wait. The staff looks like it's broken. <gasps> no! Oh sh oh snap. Oh snap. Oh no! Are they overhearing him? No! <laughs> They're overhearing him! <laughs> oh, snap! Oh. So, is this floor discovered? Oh, she's threatening to eat him. Corporate grunt. And that was my reaction to the Dungeon of Black Company episode one. What did you think about that episode? What did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash the If people watch these videos, do you like to stop by the stream? Have that one-on-one -on -one real-time conversation. You guys are more than welcome. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel reacting to the Dungeon of Black Company episode 1. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here.
or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there, and I will see you on the next video. This bump.